hi, Sharky. Thanks so much for meeting with me today. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you too. I'm good. So where are you calling in from? I'm calling from uh, my home in Westboro, Massachusetts. Nice. And uh, that's your territory, right? Yep. Uh, Boston uh, West um, is my ma the main part of my territory. And I do do some work with the uh, schools in, um, in Rhode Island also. Tell me a little bit about your role and what you enjoy most about being a fundraising coach there. I, I like helping teams raise money uh, for what they need that's not covered by the school's budget. Yeah. What do you consider the best part about your job? What's your favorite part? I like meeting the players and the coaches. Uh, I coach myself during the summer. So uh, this uh, high school level kids. So I know the challenges with them. I know that each player has a, a, um, a different comfort level. So I try to teach them a little bit about confidence and uh, you know, think outside the, the comfort zone. Um, Gold Athletics is a hybrid, a hybrid company. A lot of us are working remotely, in person, at home, bopping around territories. Uh, how would you describe the company culture with that? What I like about, about this company, it's run like a company. You know, each one of us is loyal to each other. We respect each other, help each other out. We, we, we're, we're a true team. We want the best for everyone. So how did you get into your role at fun, of fundraising at Gold Athletics? Wow. So long, long time ago, I was, um, I've been doing this about, I think, 16 or 17 years. I was very active in a youth uh, baseball board. I'm not on that board, but I still coach in the system. And um, what happened was I got a phone call one day and it started the interview process. Uh, my first interview was about 15 minutes then moved on to uh, uh, meet with uh, with Steve Ash, who ultimately hired me. And then I met my territory manager. Steve's a great mentor. And I think because of, of what I did in the youth program, um, I raised a lot of money. You know, I was raising money for youth sports. It was probably the easiest thing I ever did. Yeah, you knew the ropes already. So yeah. was there anything that you didn't know when you started? I didn't know, you know, how much work it would be for us to to, you know, build up a product. Our main product is, is the is the gold card, gold ticket. And, uh, you know, signing up merchants can be tiresome and time consuming. Now that we have our own merchant team, uh, it makes things a, a heck of a lot easier. Shout out merchant team. Yes, yeah, so absolutely. Is there anything you would tell someone that's hoping to get into this field or maybe look for a job in sports uh, that that would maybe help them on their journey of job search? If they've played on a team, um, they'll understand this. It's rewarding uh, when you work with a team. You know, when I work with a team, I, I consider that team my team. I follow their season. I, I follow their successes. The only problem I have is that when two of my teams play against each other. So I'm a little torn when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. But I wish I wish everybody the best. Is there anything that makes you really good in your role or anything you're working towards getting better at this year? You know, learning the new technology and uh, and and I, I think I'm good because, uh, you know, as I said earlier, I, I coach high school level um, uh, players. I understand their challenges. Uh, I also understand the coach's challenges being a coach. They don't always want to hear from me. Um, you know, we try to do our fundraisers at times where it doesn't interfere with, uh, you know, with what they're trying to do. Their ultimate goal is 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 to coach and and ours is to raise money to help them do that. So I just try to get the coach, I, I try to get, the, get them to realize that, you know, run our program, uh, run it right, we'll be in and out, we make the money he needs to make and, and he's back to coaching. What is changing the most in the fundraising world? The technology has really, has really changed. You, you lose that face-to-face -face interaction. Uh, you know, it's both good and bad. Back in the day when we just had the card, I would, uh, I would do my kickoff with the teams and you can tell some of the kids that might have been a little timid and I'd take the card and I would just put it in front of my face and say, you know, read the back of the card, <laughs> ask them for the help and read the back of the card, um, tell them what's on there and ask them for help. Uh, now it's a little different, but in a way it's not that bad because, you know, when we're sending out emails or texting, they can pick up the phone and make that phone call, not real face to face. But they're still asking for something. It's still a little uncomfortable for them. So um, I think that's, I think it's a good thing. 
I really do think it's a good thing for him. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, so in five or 10 years, how do you see your role as a fundraising coach evolving even more? Well, time will tell. I'm the old guy in the uh, on the team, but I'm just a boy in a man's body. So uh, I want to keep helping programs, raise money, and instill confidence in the players and the and the and the athletes, student athletes. Um, as long as uh, as long as I can, I enjoy what I do. What kind of person does really well in the role of fundraising coach? The person that understands that being flexible and 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 being able to understand not everybody is the same person or or is built the same way. So a little bit of flexibility um, in both schedule and expectations. Well, that, that, that wraps up my questions. Appreciate your time, Sharky. We'll see you in the youth sports and high schools for raising more money this year. Great. Thanks, Charlotte. Have a great day. Thank you. You too.